Three year old Noah Elvin, and tonight he's finally with his grandmother after being found inside of a cardboard box on a porch on Buffalo's west side. Good evening once again. Before being reunited with his grandmother, Noah Elvin spent some time with a foster family this week, and now the idea of fostering children here in western New York is gaining momentum. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya. They're out there, they need to be loved, and I'm here to give it to them. Ronald Newton is a foster dad. They grabbed the Spider Man. He's wanted to become a foster parent for more than 20 years. And now there's more people just like him. Hundreds of people have commented on Noelvin's story, with some even saying they would love to take him in or adopt him. There are so many kids who have experienced trauma, just like this little boy, who need loving and caring homes. That's why Sarah Welker took to Facebook to share that very message. She works with the foundation Gateway Longview. She says there's more than 1,000 children in Erie County alone who need loving homes. These stories do not end up on the news. People just kind of need to be aware that there are many kids that need help. They need us. They definitely need us. I, I'll get that for the kids. Bridget Richardson is the director of Sarah Minnie Badger Foster Services. She says children of all ages need foster homes. We see more of the need with older children that are in care. It's really a labor of love. And Newton says it's just that. The most important thing you have to give is love. You have to be there for them to, you know, coax them through all of the bad and try to turn that negative into a positive. And that's what I'm here to do, turn the negative into a positive and show them that there is someone there for them that wants to love them and will be that parent. If you're interested in becoming a foster parent or helping out, visit our website. In Buffalo, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.